Hello, Julio. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm great. Good. And what did you do today? What did I do? Yes. What did you do? Uh, well, uh, I have been in classes because Higher. I'm a student. At the university? Uh, yes, I am from the university. Okay. So I didn't do so much because my time was so take about the classes. What do you study, Julio? Uh, I am studying Lenguas Moderna. Ah, okay, okay. At what university? Universidad de Salvador. Ah, excellent. Do you like it? Yes, I like it so much. Okay. Uh, French and English, right? Yes, French and English. Okay. And how many years have you been studying? Uh, this is my second year. Okay. So and, I learned. and do you think it's difficult or easy? French or English? The French. Ah, yeah. I, I, I am feeling, I am feeling it a little bit difficult because it's a new language to me. And also uh, I have never watched that in the school. The teacher ha has never teach me that. So I am a beginner. With French? Yes, with French. <laughs> yes. With English, no, because I, I got my level. Mm -hmm. It, with English, because in the school you studied before. Yes, I studied before in the school, in the high school, but friends not. Yes, I imagine it's, it's uh, you find more difficult when it's a new language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good well, evening. that's cool. good evening. Good evening. I know sometimes it's a little hard, but hey. You keep practicing and you're going to get better in French and English. I will do it. Excellent. All right. So thank you so much, everyone, for coming today. I know it's difficult. It's Friday. And you say, I know. I don't want to be in class. I want to relax. It's Friday, teacher. I, I yeah. understand. I understand. Bye. But only this Friday. Only, only today. And then the other Fridays. Ah you relax it's no problem okay they share yes gabriela uh, in previous classes i have connection problems and i don't know if the in this case it will be problems okay no problem gabby you you try to connect if you have problems okay uh, the important is that you uh, continue, you can watch the videos on YouTube or the important is you can practice the, the videos that are in the platform. You watch the videos and do the exercises. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, Gabby. Okay. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is today we're going to be looking at continuing from yesterday. Yesterday, we saw the difference between past tense questions. Remember, we have the past tense with was or were, and we have the past tense with did, okay? Do you remember the difference? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, yes. good. Remember, the most important is that did is with an, a verb, with an action, an activity is used in questions and negative sentences. We do not use it in positive sentences. So for example, here is not correct, I did move, okay? It's not correct, I did took, or my aunt did talk. Is only correct for questions, when did you move to Los Angeles? Or it's only correct for negatives, I didn't. I didn't speak English, I didn't move here. I didn't take classes. My aunt didn't teach me, okay? It's only correct for questions. So also remember that is for I, 
he, she, it is was. We, you, if I talk it, is going to be were for the questions and for sentences. These are for no actions. These are for descriptions, professions, or locations. Any questions? No, teacher. Okay, good. So remember the yes, no questions, always we begin with the auxiliary. The auxiliary may be was, maybe were, or did. And that yes, no question is because the answer is yes or no, right? So begin with the auxiliary and the answer is yes, no. For example, I say to, uh, to Gabriela, Gabriela, were you born in China? No, I wasn't born in China. Exactly, super easy, right? That's it, all you have to do is ask. So for example, Julio, Julio, was Gabriela born in China? No, she wasn't. That's it. All we have to do is make the questions and we use different WH. Where, who, what, when is going to be a little bit different. Those are going to give us sentences, no yes, no. So the one that we ask, was Gabriela born in China? Were you born in China? Is the answer is yes, no. For WH, like where, who, what, when, or why, we're going to have a full sentence. Here's the to me. Oops. And then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH. Okay. So, for example, there uh, we have the question where were you born? Now, here, ah, uh, now it's necessary. Now it's necessary the full answer, not yes, I was, no, I wasn't. Now you have to say, I was born in um, Santa Ana. I was born in uh, San Miguel or Aguachapan or wherever it was, right? These are all the questions that we can have. Was, were, did, the answer is yes, no. WH questions, the answer is complete. It's okay? All right, then now we're going to make questions and we're going to practice in groups. The idea is we're going to have in groups of three. So in our groups, let me see. Yes, we're going to try to have most of them groups. So I'm going to ask my partner. My partner is going to answer. I can ask WH questions and I can ask a W, uh, sorry, yes, no questions. So for example, with Fatima, I can say Fatima, okay? Fatima, okay. Uh, where uh, did you live in Santa Ana? No, I didn't. Okay. Were you born in San Miguel? Yes, I was born in San Miguel. <gasps> wow! Think Marin. All right. <laughs> okay. And this is the idea. You ask the questions, yes, no. Or you ask WH questions. For example, ah, Fatima, okay. Where were you born? Where did you go to school? What did you study in the university? Okay, the different things. It's okay? Okay. Yes, teacher. Good, all right. ¿Hay alguien que no sabe cómo hacer las preguntas? ¿Alguien que tenga duda? ¿No está claro? Profe, ¿y se puede utilizar el beard? Where, where do you beard? Beard. No, no, because born, no, where were you born? Porque beard, beard es nacer también, ¿verdad? No. Como para... Where is where uh, it's like a uh, day for, for birthday. Uh -huh, for birthday. Uh-huh. Birth. Uh-huh. It is simil similar a uh, birth. No es no es nacer, pero nacimiento. Pero cumpleaños. Birthday. 
Le quiero preguntar cuándo cumple años una persona. Ok. Es when were you born? When were you born? When were you born? Uh -huh. También. En el presente puedes preguntar when is your birthday? Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Then let's make the groups. Let's practice asking and answering our partner the different questions. Ceci, you okay?
Ceci, yo qué? Okay? ¿Te está dando problema el Inter? Ceci, ¿estás bien? ¿Te está dando problema el Inter? Okay, any questions? Everything is okay? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, Let, let's take a look then, let's check. All right, uh, let's see. Everson, tell me about your partner. Um, I just remember that he works a uh, call center in one link. And they, he he are working a operation, and he wants he wants to get a English account because his account he is he is account English, Spanish account right now, but he wants to get a account Spanish account. Oh my God, my grammar is a trust. What is a trust, Everson? Trust, trust. Ah, trust, yes, <laughs> okay, I got you. Don't worry, Everson, it's okay. That's why we, we practice, we improve, good job. Everson, who was your partner? What? Who was your partner? Uh, I, I don't remember his name. Please <laughs> hang up. I was uh, his partner. Ah, imagine, Christopher. I imagine it's typical, right? I don't remember the name that cuss. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. All right, let's have another one, another example. Let's see. Ruth, Ruth, tell me about your partner. Everson, tenés micrófono encendido, se te escuchó. <laughs> no te preocupes, solo oh que my God. I'm It's so okay, sorry. Everson, relax. Solo te quedo no, grabado en YouTube sorry. para siempre. Vamos I'm, a I'm fighting, I'm fighting with my girlfriend. <laughs> Ruth, what happened? I'm sorry. Okay, oh, there's Okay, good, good evening. Good Hello, evening. everyone. Well, my partner was where for Carla and Luz. They told me that they were born in Santa Ana. Carla worked in a call center and Luz is right now just a, a mother. She, she, she has spent the whole day doing, doing 
home stuff like washing dishes, washing clothes. Um, and Carla also, she have a tough day. Was really heavy today. And well, I, I was to work in the morning and then I came back home for the late, on the late, just to rest a little bit. I don't know, just that. Okay, all right, good. That's the idea. The idea is we practice speaking a little bit. Excellent. Okay, Very thanks. good. Thank you so much, Ruth. All right, any other volunteers? Any volunteers? Me, teacher. All Me. right, Miguel, go. Uh, I I had the opportunity to ask uh, uh, a few questions to Fatima, and I asked her where where does where does she work? But and she tell me she answered me she works at the Ministry of Hacienda. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I asked her what what do you do? What does she do? She does what does she do? And she is a, a auditor for the Ministry of Hacienda. And the last question that, that I asked to Fatima is uh, where, does, where does she live? She lives in Colonia San Luis. Okay, good, very good, excellent, okay. Okay, so I, I see Miguel, a lot of the questions, no, no in the past, a lot of the questions in the present. Right, Miguel? Yes, yes, the most of them is in, in the present. Okay, all right, okay, good. All right, guys, remember today we're looking at, we're practicing questions in the past. We want to practice our did, our was, our were, different things. Now we're going to go with our partners and we're going to go to 1.8. 1.8 in the platform, the knowledge check, 1.8. With our partners, you have to read and complete. Some of them is answer the question. Some of them put in the correct order. Some of them make the question. You read the instructions for each activity and complete. What is you have to do? For this activity, we have three minutes with your partners so that, that you can complete everything. Platform 1.8.
Laura, you okay? Okay, let's take a look. You ready? Yes. What do you? Yes. All right. What was number one? What is the correct way to answer the question? The first. Yes, I was. The first one. The first one. Yes, I was. Okay. What is the correct order for you born where city in this? Where you born in this city? Okay, number good. Three. How do we make the question? My favorite subjects were math and science. What, what were your favorite subjects in the school? Oh, okay. Okay. Which is the correct one? Where Number. was Peter born? Okay. And the last one? I was no. 15 years I don't old. Know. Number when, uh -huh. when was Peter born? Number two. Number two, here. When? Yes. Okay. okay, sorry. When was Peter born? Mm -hmm. All right. And number five, choose the best question for I was 15 years old. How old were you in 1999? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hey, as you can see, correct. Peter born is when were you born? Sorry, when was Peter born? And how old were you in 1999? Very good. As you can see all of the other ones. Nice job. Any question for the verb to be? How to use the verb to be in the past? No. No. Not sure. Okay. All right. Good. Now we're going to continue with our next activity. Here, who would like to read the objective? Me, teacher. Okay, Christopher, go ahead. Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of, uh, by the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negatives, and short answer with used to. Learn English phrases like, I used to be very much messy when i was kid, when i was a kid sorry kid. Mm -hmm. a kid but but now i'm very neat and i didn't use to follow politics but now i read the newspaper every day an oral english compre comprehension exercise is included okay so now we're using the word used to does anybody know what this means? And have you ever heard this word or expression before? Used to? When you want to describe something that you usually the, did in past. Okay. But, mm -hmm. but now it is not, it's not uh normal to do correct that is the idea used to is before was normal for you to do but now no now you don't do it this is the idea used to so for example i used to watch cartoons now is not normal for me this is the idea used to if you see we have a d a d used to in the negative form you're going to not use a D. In the negative form is only the word use. You're going to use the auxiliary. I didn't use to follow politics. Uh, that means that before I didn't do this action and now, yes. For example, now I watch the Russia and Ukraine because now I follow politics. But I didn't use to is before no, now yes. I used to is before yes and now no, okay? And here we're going to watch a short video. Hi everyone, by the end of this class, you'll be able to dis Well, not watch the video, but we'll see a little bit of the ideas, okay? 
here we have. So for example, I used to be very messy. Do you know what is very messy? Desordenado? Correct. Is not organized, not put things in order. This is, I used to be very messy. Okay. That means that before I, I was disorganized and now no. If you make a question, look, the question we use with did, did and used to, or WH did and used to, but no D in the question, no D, only the auxiliary did. It's okay. Okay, so here we have, we don't want to care too much about her. Ah, here we care. Okay, so this is the structure. The subject used to and the verb in present. Look, always we put the verb in present. I used to, the action is in past, but we use the verb in present because we have the auxiliary. Put right there, here. I used to and the action in present, play. I used to, the action in present, be, okay? And how can we make the questions? Simple, only use did and ask the questions. Did you use to or did you, or what did you use to? Let me for the, they don't have too many questions for the examples. Okay, so I'll put some examples of the questions in the chat. That way we have better ideas. Okay, so if the question is yes, no, it's only did you. Did you, for example, used to watch um, cartoons? Okay, or what did you used to do? school as you can see we have two types of questions the yes no which is did and the wh okay and the wh is common what but you can use what where for example i can make questions with where where did you use to go on vacation But you see the structure is the same. WH did the person used to the action and the complement. This is talk, this is used to talk about past actions, about past actions that now are not normal. Es como decir, ¿qué es lo que tú hiciste? No. Oh, that, como... that is did. Did Solías. you? Uh -huh. no salías. Correct, Daniel. That is correct. Solías hacer. Exactly. Uh, okay. Because now, no. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Now, put two, two questions in the chat. One did and one WH question with used to. Let's check. Put one did and one WH question in the chat. What did you use to in school? No, Carla, you need to put an action. What did you use to study in school? What did you use uh, to do in school? Okay. Okay. Correct, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Correct, Julio.
No, Daniel, a little confusing. Did you used to go on vacation? Maybe ah, for the spelling, Daniel. Where where did you used to go on uh, in summer? Where did you used to go in summer? And did she used to visit her? No tiene dos papás. That's Spanish. Where did she did she used to visit her parents? Her parents, not her fathers. Herson, no D. Remember Herson, no D in the question. You need the auxiliary, Herson. Where did you used to have breakfast? So Herson, not correct. Okay, correct. All right, good, Luz. Correct, Eugenia. Correct, Laura. No, Carlos. Carlos, remember, no ING. Carlos, did you used to dance in the clubs? Good, Luz. Remember, Luz, one WH. Ya me pusiste dos del did, no WH. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. All right, Christopher, pretty good. But no Fridays night, only Friday nights. La S va con nights, no apostrophe. Did you used to go to the movies? Friday nights. Good. Good, Fatima. Mm -hmm. Good, Miguel. Okay, good, Ruth. Good, Gabriela. All right, Cecilia, nice. Good, Eugenia. Good, Carla. Good, Luz. Ah, good. That's the good WH, Luz. Yes. Good, Daniel. That's better. That's better. Remember, Daniel, did she used to visit her parents? No, at. No, at. But the other is correct. Good. No, Everson, you used to do in the, mm, that is not correct, Everson. Correct, Fatima. Good, Julio. And Everson, I don't understand the last part. Ace. Good, Cecilia. Did you used to go to the park? Okay, yes, Everson, that one, yes. All right, excellent. So it's okay. We understand that how to use it. Now we're going to practice with our partners. We're going to use some of these questions that we created and our partners created to ask our partners. And remember to answer with used to, okay? Are you ready guys? Yes? All right. Yes. Good. Good idea, Everson. The last question, only the spelling is not correct, but good idea. All right. So let's go with our partners. We are going to practice quickly asking and answering our partners different questions with used to.
Okay, any questions? A mí me confunde un poco, teacher, I used to. Okay, ¿el qué parte te confunde? ¿Cómo formular? Todo. El uso? No, no, no. O sea, entiendo yo que, digamos, o sea, si yo voy a preguntar con used to, obviamente uh -huh. no le voy a agregar la D, porque le estoy preguntando... Eh, eh, o sea, voy a contestar en pasado, pero el verbo no va a cambiar, ¿verdad? Porque lo que va a cambiar es que use le voy a agregar y, eh, la D para hacerlo en pasado y el verbo no va a cambiar, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿O no? Ok. ¿Estamos hablando de preguntas ah, o de respuestas? Porque ya, ambas. Ya o sea, si yo pregunto con use to, tengo que contestar normalmente con, con use, eh, use o no. Sí. Así es. Y la va a ser en pasado. Exacto. Entonces, si cuando, con, cuando preguntas, no va a llevar la D, porque ajá. lleva la opción. Lleva el D. Lleva el D, ajá. Cuando contestas, si es positivo, va a llevar D. I used to. Ok. Ajá, y, ajá. Si es ¿Y el algo, verbo no cambia. Y el verbo Porque no lleva cambia. el pasado de used. Exacto. Uh -huh. okay. Sí. Ok. ¿Está bien? Pero, yes. ¿verdad que si, si la respuesta es negativa sería, sería, perdón, I didn't use? Correcto, sin la D, porque ya está la opción. Entonces, okay. les voy a ayudar un poco para que se les aclare un siempre. Siempre, siempre que usan un auxiliar, no importa cuál es el auxiliar. Did, um, does, do, was, were, eh, have, had, lo que sea de los auxiliares. Modal verbs, can, could, may, might, should, todos esos. El verbo no cambia. No se tiene que complicar. Ahí el verbo, o sea, siempre que es con estos, con todos esos auxiliares, el verbo va a ir en forma base. El único... Que verbo, sea presente. En el presente, exacto. En el present. El único donde va a cambiar es cuando usan el have o el has que es el pasado participio. Pero aparte de eso, todos los otros did, um, eh, could, might, should, would, may, todo eso, el verbo va normal. Teacher, con eso que se está mencionando, tenía yo una duda ahora en la tarde que estaba practicando sobre ello. Había un ejercicio que decía de que cuando niño él tenía una mascota. Entonces, eh, jugando con las, eh, las personas, ¿verdad? con jugándolo también, este, yo lo hacía con un ella, en un supuesto caso, ¿verdad? Como quien preguntase qué eh, solía tener, qué tenía ella cuando, eh, qué mascota, si, te, si ella tenía una mascota cuando pequeña. Okay. Entonces me fijaba de que el hub se mantenía, entonces tenía esa duda, si en ese, en ese caso el hub sí se mantiene o se por qué no cambiaba a has por usar el chi. Porque el verbo no cambia. Siempre, ah, igual que no vas a decir walks, no vas a decir place, no vas a decir studies, no, el verbo es normal. Sí, esa duda sí la tenía y ahorita lo estaba usted explicando, ya me lo estaba aclarando. Thank Ajá, you. sí, sí, siempre que usas eh, un auxiliar o algo antes, el verbo va a ir normal, especialmente okay. en preguntas, uh -huh. Pero también en respuestas, normalmente que las respuestas son negativas. I didn't, I, I, I didn't use to. Mm -hmm. Pro, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Profe, mire, fíjese de que hice una oración así, conjugada. No sé si quise decir qué sueles hacer después de clase. Sería, what do you use to do after class? No, Everson, porque sueles uh -huh. es... Es presente. Acostumbrar, ¿qué, acostum qué, acostum ¿Qué acostumbrabas a hacer en clases? Ah, entonces sí, entonces sí está correcto. Sí, como cuando usted dice que es auxiliar, ¿verdad? A veces los auxiliares no tienen exactitud de pronunciación. Se puede decir qué solías hacer o qué acostumbrabas. Correcto. Sí. Es que acuérdense que en inglés el propósito del auxiliar es indicarte el tiempo de que estás hablando. En español no tenemos que indicar tiempo porque el verbo lo conjugamos. El verbo lo pongo en pasado. ¿Cómo comimos, comieron, comiste, comimos, comeremos? Ese es el verbo que me dice la persona, me dice la acción y me dice el tiempo. En inglés, solo la acción comer, eat. 
el tiempo. Did, do, da, eso. La persona, he, she, it. Necesitas tres palabras. Do you eat? Does he eat? Did she eat? Entonces, no se vayan a confundir que el hecho que en español tenemos tres en uno, en inglés es necesitas tres para ser uno. Y el auxiliar, el propósito del auxiliar no es decirte la acción, solo es indicarte en qué tiempo estás hablando. Ya entendí. Sí. Ok. Excelente. All right. ¿Listos? ¿Practicamos? Yo lo veo calladito, pero ah, yo lo tomo como un sí. All right, guys. Excellent. So, now we're going to do 1.11. 1.11 knowledge check. En knowledge check, ahí vamos a ver lo que acabamos de hablar. ¿Cuál es el correcto? Con D, sin D, con tú, sin tú, con, con was. Con, ¿Y cuál de todos los used to's es correcto? 1.11 with our partners. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Three minutes. Go. One point eleven. Hi, Daniel. Ok, let's check. Who's number one? ¿Quién lo va a leer y contestar? Me. Ok, go ahead. And number one, 
Where did Jerry grow up? She grew up in Brinton, England. Okay, thank you. Number two. Did Jerry have a hobby? Jerry used to paint and she still paints today. Okay. Number three. I used to play basketball and football when I was a car, a kid. Okay. Second, second. Okay. Thank you. Number four. Uh, what did you use to collect when you were a kid? Uh, I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. Number one or number, number two? One. Number one. Number one. Oh, good, good. And the last one, number five. My last job was easy and relaxing. I used to work from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday and had weekends off. Okay, let's take a look. Hey, there you go. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. Any questions? No questions, sir. No questions? Okay, great. Okay. Seguro, última vez, any questions? Okay. In this moment, now we're going to go to our speaking practice. Simplemente queremos hablar de así, agarrar, acostumbra a hablar diaria o normalmente. So, vamos a hablar con nuestros compañeros. Hey, what are you going to do after class? What are you going to do tomorrow? How was your day today? What happened today? Así una conversación. Están tomando un café con unos amigos. Se están poniendo al día. Platiquemos. Ready? Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.
come up with as many up <laughs> Sorry, teacher, I'm so tired. It's okay, Carlos. Yo no he dicho nada. Yo dije la sonrisa que como está, es que que... Está, está, está mal acostumbrado a verme siempre sonreír. <laughs> Eso es. Hoy ya, hoy ya sé que fue un día difícil. <laughs> Friday. Um, it's Friday, exacto. All right, guys. Le agradezco mucho a todos por haber hecho el esfuerzo. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being in class. Have a nice weekend. I see you on Monday. Thank you. See you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Good Have Good a nice weekend. Have a nice night. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. You too. Bye. Bye.